Okay, so looking at this one, I can see that all of these lines are on a 45 degree. And the reason I got that from having going this direction and a distance of 3 going that direction. So all of these lines are at a 45, so I would set my pull of tracking to 45. It also has a consistent offset of point zero 0.05 going across there. So it will be a good idea to create this with a polyline and then offset that distance to the inside to create this shape. So starting off here in AutoCAD, one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that my polar tracking is on 45, 90, 135, 180. And I'm also going to activate that by clicking this icon here. So this icon should turn blue, and this one should turn off. I'm going to start with a polyline. I'll click a start point until I get the green lines that are previewing or telling me where to go. Three, enter, and make sure that you're getting those green lines every time you go, and then you can let go of your mouse and make sure that it stays on that green line. One. Then let's go back one this direction. And then we're going to go three this direction. Let's come down this direction. Three. One. Going one this direction. And then finally, I can close my polyline. Next, let's go ahead and use the offset command. An offset always asks me for a distance first, so 0.5. Select your shape you created, and then go to the inside. Let's create a line going from this endpoint to this endpoint. Next, I'll use the lengthen command to stretch these lines both the equal distance on both sides. So underneath the modify, this third icon will be lengthen. Delta. And now I have to give it a distance that I want this line to go. I'll type in 0.75. Now I'm going to select on the line that I want to change toward the end point that I want to change. So I'll click on this endpoint, and then I'll click down at this endpoint. Escape. Let's go ahead and create a layer. So go to your layer properties, and give it a second, and your layer dialog box should appear. Next, select the new layer icon. Name it Center. Let's make the color red. Then let's change the line type. So select continuous, the word. Then select load. Scroll down until you find the word center. Select OK. Select the word center. Select OK and then close the dialog box. Select your line, and then select the drop down, and choose the word center. Hit the escape button twice, and now you have completed it.